Hi there, kids. Grandpa Lemon here. And once again today, I'm playing Happy Wheels, everybody's favorite game. Why? Because it makes you happy. I know it makes me happy. Um, let's see if there's any... Maybe there's some Grand Theft Auto levels or something. Let's see what we got. Hey, go kill Fat Man. Glory Mission 1. Kill Fat... Oh, I have to kill a Fat Man. Oh, well... Did I... Did, well... Ow. Whoa, did I kill him or myself? What, what, is, what is going on here? Two Fat Men, but I feel like... Is that it? I won? This is the weirdest level. Like, what is that? Let's go. Santa's got to deliver those presents. Whoa. I don't know how he's going to deliver those presents, though, with... His, his elves have no limbs. You know, they can't make presents. That oh, ouch. That hurt. Okay, oh, now we got a hipster and his hipster girlfriend on a moped. And they're going to a Future Wolf show or some other really obscure band that you've never heard of, but they listen to all the time and try to tell you how stupid you are for not listening to the same cool obscure music they do. Maybe some new vegan steakhouse opened up and they're going there. I don't know. Whoa, ouch! I, I didn't land the way I thought I was going to land on that one. That was, that was too bad. Okay. How many hipsters does it take to screw in a light bulb? It's a really obscure number. You'd, you'd probably never heard of it before. Get it? Because <laughs> that's how hipsters are. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Note to self, uh, never land when you're doing a jump on a motorcycle. Never land on your back. You know, I watch those X Games, and those guys never land on their back. And they, they always land the, the, the bike on the wheels. I just got to land the bike on the wheels and not on my... Oh! And my girlfriend died. I'm so sorry, Skylar. Or Newt. Or what, she probably has some cool name. I don't know. All right. Whoa! All right. Land on the wheels. Land on the wheel. Oh, sort of. I did that. But I think... Yep. Yep. That... I just severed my spine. That's not good. Grand Theft Chair. Um... Okay, uh, grab the gun and shoot them. What the heck? Yay, I won. I don't even know what I did there. I was, I looked like I was, I was farting or something, and all of a sudden there was an explosion. That was weird. Whoa. What the heck? Whoa, what are those things? Oh, God. Yeah, I need some help here. I need to. Whoa! Yeah, oh. Okay. Wow. That's got to be really uncomfortable. Someone asked him, hey, how are you doing? He's like, well, I lost 20 pounds. Like, that's great. Like, yeah, t unfortunately, it was my legs. It was all my legs. That's how I lost the weight. Uh, wow. This is horrible. But I won, so that's good. It's like a pogo stick. You know, I, I remember when these used to be popular. I had one of these as a child, you know? Like, I remember one summer, that was the, the hottest ticket. It was pogo sticks. Well, it was that and polio, but you know, I didn't want polio. So, But every kid I knew had a pogo stick, and boy, were they great. Why can't kids have pogo sticks now? Now I bet the only thing they have is like, you know, virtual pogo stick, and it's an app for the iPhone. These kids need to get outside and, and go, you know. Whoa, what the heck? So that fan just blew my son away. Oh, and then, oh, now I, whoa, this fan is crazy. There goes my intestines. So much for painting the town red. Oh, boy, I need to turn that fan down. Okay, in this level, I'm apparently in a car designed by a three-year-old. Uh, yep, this literally looks like a car I drew when I was three years old. And did I and I'm not even driving it. I'm on the outside of the windshield somehow controlling this apparatus, which makes no sense strictly from an engineering standpoint. But whoa! I didn't even do anything. Alright. Please kill the boss. No! Oh! Okay, note to self, when a wrecking ball is coming by, don't don't ride your family. Oh, here we go. I think I know what's gonna happen. What the heck? Whoa! Well, that's just violent. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in life. All I wanted was to break your walls. That's such a good song to listen to. Whoa! Just got to get out of the way. 
Oh, son of a... Yo soy Grandpa Lemon? Donde esta el biblioteca? How do I get up this thing? Come on. Hello? I mean, come how do I get up this thing? I mean, oh! Oh, that's great. Now I just snapped my neck off. That's not good. Uh, nope. All right, hold on. I just, maybe I just got to build up a little momentum here. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, come on. Just build up momentum. You got this, Grandpa Lemon. You know what, son? Oh, what was that? Did I lose my sunglasses? Oh, and they were Ray-Bans. Darn it! Come on. Oh, great. Your dad just c broke his neck. Oh, look at this. I'm apparently on the outside of a imitation Mustang. This looks like the kind of Mustang you could buy and you open the hood and there's like a lawnmower engine inside it. Oh, look, it's another car designed by a three-year-old. Okay, very cool. All right, that's not how a steering wheel goes. If I was looking at it from that perspective, it would be all off. You know, it would look more like a straight line, not a circle like that attached to what is apparently supposed to be the steering axle, but it's not. I mean, and this car offers no protection. There's no front windshield. No, oh my God. See, there's no side airbags. Oh, those, those screams are horrible. It just sounds so bad. All right. Oh, look, it's everybody's favorite hipster couple. Now they've apparently moved to Williamsburg and they're really making a go of it in the big city, you know? He just got that really cool job at Whole Foods and she's... Whoa, what the heck? Well, at least at least they got killed by, like, bow and arrows because they that's probably in this month. That's probably hip with the hipsters, bows and arrows. I don't know. Probably. Whoa, what the heck? Why is everyone getting impaled on medieval weapons? All right. Whoa. Oh, my God. I'm crushing homeless men. That's just... You lose. No! All right. I don't understand why all the homeless men have to just sit down. You know, he's like, I don't want to kill you, but it's like, hey, I got to get to where I'm going, man. So get out of my way. Come on. Did I do it? Oh, I did it, but I died in the process. Whoa! What am I doing here? It's, this is like the trampoline of death. Yeah, I don't want to go on that trampoline, because I've seen what happens to people that do. Jiminy Christmas. This is horrible. Up! Oh, oh, now the now the kids are making rockets. And what the heck? I felt like Sonic the Hedgehog there for a minute. That was kind of cool. I even got a coin at the end. All right, Grand Theft Auto Part One. You know, I don't know if this guy was contracted out to mow the lawn at a local park, but he's doing a horrible job. First of all, he's he's literally. Uh, he just murdered someone, a child that was trying to go, two children now, that are trying to play on the playground. And my God, this guy's out for blood. What's his problem? Oh, that little woman was trying to watch her child on a swing and then this guy just ruined it. Yes, run away, children. This guy is bloodthirsty. You don't want any part of him. Oh, oh look, the hipsters. Oh my God, I just turned her into mulch. Oh, and you're next. I'm sorry. It's a bloodbath. Look what's going on. Oh, everybody's dying. This is a horrible... Oh, and look, is that lemonade? Well, too bad. Your lemonade stand is, is gone. There's nothing... There's nothing left. What is this? Tacos? Lemonade? How, how many stands are there? Now, that's a good idea. If I was a kid, I'd have a taco stand. You'd probably sell a lot of them. All right, now he's apparently... First of all, what is he doing in a restaurant? Because there's no grass to mow in a restaurant. Like, you should only mow the grass outside, not kill patrons inside that are trying to eat a meal. You know, but that that's... Again, that's just me. That's, that's just the type of guy I am. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. Santa Claus is upset that Mrs. Claus is marrying a new guy. I, I, this is... This story took a very strange twist. Anyway, well, kids, that about does it for Grandpa Lemon. Uh, I'm going to see how this story plays out with Chris Kringle and company. Uh, if you like this video, be sure and click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, if you ever see Santa Claus breaking up with Mrs. Claus, just remember to...